The difference is I don't negotiate with that voice. Right? My greatness, what I want to be, what I agreed to be at 9 p.m. is the same thing I agreed to be at 5 a.m. My son wants to play football and basketball at the highest level. He wants to get a Division I scholarship in both football and basketball and then take that to another level and play professionally in the NFL and the NBA. So his desires, his dreams, his goals are huge. Now we are in a time in history that is, is unprecedented. Right, we're having to go through a pandemic and having to stay home uh, in in a, in really one of the most unique times in our nation and world's history. So we have opportunities to work and grind and get better. So my son has committed to getting up in the morning. Like he, like me, has seen this opportunity in front of us as as an opportunity to get better, to grow, to learn. Not just uh, all, all, all the downsides to being at home and not being able to train and work out at a gym or go to school or be amongst friends. He sees it like I do in some ways as an opportunity to do things he couldn't do before. So he's committed to getting up in the morning and working out. He's committed to, to getting his rest and, and drinking more protein. He's committed to doing things, again, that he normally could not do. But that's not always the case. You see, this morning, he didn't get up. This morning, my son did not wake up because what happened to him is what happens to many of us. You see, we have a contract that we have with our the best version of us. We have a dream and a vision and a goal. And in our heads, if not written down, I encourage you to write it down. But if not, at least in our heads, we have signed a contract for that dream. Right, we have agreed on the terms for that dream. Right, we understand what it takes to lose 20 pounds. We understand in our head what it takes to get straight A's. We understand in our head what it takes to be a starting point guard or a starting quarterback or to get a scholarship. We understand what it takes to be a great speaker or to be a CEO, to be the best salesperson in our company. We understand that, we want that, and we sign the contract to get that. The problem is we signed that contract at the, at the most positive and, and, and driven part of our day, right? We signed that contract at 9 o'clock p.m. We signed the contract to, 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 to wake up at 5 a.m. We signed that contract and agree to those terms at 9 o'clock p.m. the previous night. We signed that with the best version of ourselves. We sign that with the goal and the vision and what we see for ourselves. The problem is our average self, right? The, the, the part of us that is at best complacent with where we are, that person shows up at 5 a.m. That part of us shows up when the alarm goes off and that person begins to negotiate with the best version of us. That part of us begins to speak and talk to and, and try to convince the best version of us why we should not take one step today toward that dream, toward that vision, toward that goal that we contractually signed and agreed to the night before. We all go through it. I go through it. I go through it. That same voice you have that tells you uh, in the morning to hit the snooze, the snooze button, that same voice that tells you to go to bed early and not spend one more hour studying for that test, that same voice I have. The difference is I don't negotiate with that voice. Right, My greatness, what I want to be, what I agreed to be at 9 p.m. is the same thing I agreed to be at 5 a.m. Because I don't negotiate with the other half of me. Like the version of me that wants to be average, the version of me that is afraid of the pain and discomfort it takes to be great, that person to, in my life, in my head, in my subconscious, I don't negotiate with him. Period. What I agreed to be at 9 p.m. is who I want to be at 5 a.m. 
period. Who I agreed to be six months ago, and that is a great speaker, I don't negotiate with him when it comes down to doing a video and I'm afraid and nervous. I don't negotiate with him. That voice that tells me you look fine as you are, you can go one more day and not, and not do a video, you have to do this and that. I don't negotiate with that voice at all. So you wanted to get an A on the test yesterday and this morning, but now it's 10 p.m. and you're tired and that voice is telling you a B plus is fine. Right? You wanted to get, get into a top school in the country when you were a freshman in high school. But now that it gets, it gets hard and you have AP courses and you're a sophomore or junior, now you're negotiating with yourself and saying, well, I could go to this school. That's not what I wanted initially. Right? You want to lose 20 pounds and look good in a bikini. But as soon as you get, you get challenged and it gets challenging and hard, and you have to get up in the morning, you have to eat right, you have to do all these things, all of a sudden, you're negotiating with yourself. And now, uh, a one piece is fine. Or, or just losing 10 pounds is fine. I don't negotiate with that subconscious at all. At all. 